If you're building a scratch game, you have to have sound. No question, games must have sound. Now, in the scratch, you can choose either play sound until done or start sound. And if you click on them, they do the same thing. Well, they do the same thing, but they take different amounts of time for those things to occur. Why does that matter? Well, check this out. Let's say in a game, you have a cat and you're gonna click on the cat. Okay, that sounds pretty easy. Let's say this, when the sprite is clicked, we're gonna start the sound meow and then we're gonna change a variable, which I've already made called sound finished. We're gonna change it by one. Now this is the variable right here. Watch what happens when I click on the cat. Well, it said meow, but the counter went up immediately, right when I clicked. So what happens when you have start meow is it doesn't stop to run the code. It just plays the meow sound and keeps going as fast as it can, which is different from the play sound until done. Let me show you how that one works. I'll take this one off and I'll say play sound until done. Now you'll hear a pause before the counter goes up. I'll put the counter right next to him. Now, it might not be a big deal in this game, but in your code, it might not work correctly because it might be waiting until the sound is done before something else happens. Perhaps you might have like a go-to random position here. Now you'll really see the delay. When I click the cat, I have to wait until the sound is done. Now, if I had the just start sound instead of the play sound till done, there, now you'll see it happen almost instantly. Which one is better? It just depends what you need for your game.